Today, I'm going to tell you about my best friend, a friend I share with most of my generation, Google. Here's what pops up when you search technology in Google Images. Electric blue chips, devices, it's all a bit intimidating. And if you extend this search to artificial intelligence, widely regarded as the future of technology, we still have electric blue. Now we have some robots. And you might even recall a sci-fi movie that gave you nightmares for two weeks. But what happens when you search creativity? Rainbow colors, an almost childlike appeal, perhaps best described as a cross between Care Bears and My Little Pony. <laughs> as these representations show, we often view technology and creativity as two separate circles that never intersect. For most of my childhood, I hung out in the creativity realm. As a dancer, writer, and amateur artist, I have always valued creative expression. In elementary school, I collected Japanese puzzle erasers. I laughed when people asked me if they erased well, because, well, I wouldn't know. I never actually used them for erasing. I instead infused them with life composing stories with my erasers as the characters. Fast forward to the summer after my freshman year of high school, when I attended an artificial intelligence summer camp. I expected to spend two weeks immersed over here, in the technology circle. But soon, I was learning how AI can transform fields from sustainability to transportation to healthcare. And when I worked on a project using AI to improve hand hygiene in hospitals, something magical happened. In AI's amazingly diverse applications, I saw creativity at the core of technological innovation. The circle of technology and the circle of creativity started to merge in my eyes as I began viewing technology as an inherently creative and versatile endeavor. I then realized that this perception of two separate circles is not an issue with how technology actually is, but is rather an issue with how technology is portrayed. An inaccurate portrayal of technology can have dangerous consequences. What if this perception of tech as a space that inhibits creative expression discourages the next generation of technologists? And what if this view steers young girls and other students from underrepresented groups in tech away from pursuing careers in the seemingly unwelcoming tech world? This is serious. It's no secret that the tech industry lacks diversity, and experts have stated that AI, the future of technology, is currently in a diversity crisis. The lack of diversity among those developing AI technology creeps into the technology itself. Biased algorithms have identified people of African descent as gorillas, reinforced sex as gender roles, and selected predominantly white faces as beauty contest winners. As AI becomes more pervasive, we need to promote inclusion in the field. It is critical that the story of AI is rooted in the diverse stories of humanity. I wanted to change the way that tech in general and AI in particular are perceived. I wanted to make sure that young students feel that they can express themselves through technology. So I asked, can we use creative expression to increase diversity in AI? From this question, CREATE was born. CREATE is an outreach AI plus art initiative that I co-founded to raise awareness about AI among young students 
promote diversity and inclusion in AI by targeting traditionally underrepresented groups and emphasize creativity as the core of technological innovation. The focal point of the CREATE curriculum is neural art, which is the generation of artwork using machine learning algorithms and serves as a visual, hands-on representation of AI as a creative tool. CREATE held its first event, a neural art workshop for middle school and high school girls, right here in the Silicon Valley in July 2017. Since then, CREATE has expanded to host events nationwide, from Santa Clara to New York City. This summer, I organized and led a workshop in Oakland, paralleling the city's emphasis on social justice, diversity, tech, and art. That's where I met Charlotte and Amira. At the mural art exhibition that concluded the day's workshop, Charlotte presented how she used machine learning to create her mural art, titled Facing Reality, which strives to combat racism by merging her face and Amira's into one. In her own words, Facing Reality shows that everyone, no matter the race, should be treated equally, and that the most contrasting minds can come together and become close friends. Eighth grader Michelle wrote that she wanted her neural art to illustrate her perspective on reading, her sense of wonder and magic upon opening a book. CREATE students have made mural art about themes ranging from the March for Science, net neutrality and disaster relief, to nature, friendship, and family. For me, this is the greatest testament to the power of creative expression. That my students are excited to express their unique perspectives and experiences with technology. Just as I infused my puzzle erasers with life as a child, I aim to help bring technology to life for my students as a medium for them to express themselves creatively. My hope is that in changing the perception of tech, I can contribute to shaping the narrative of technology by working to ensure that creative thinking and diversity of people, backgrounds, and perspectives are what guide the innovation of tomorrow. After all, I only had one rule for my Japanese puzzle erasers collection. Every single eraser had to be different. Even as a child, I intuitively knew that if diversity was not integral to my eraser story, then my story would lack vibrancy. However, while an uninspiring eraser drama might disappoint my childhood self, an unrepresentative technology narrative threatens to perpetuate biases around the globe. The story that we express through technology is the story that technology will express back to us and to our children and grandchildren. I will continue striving to ensure that this story is one we will want to tell our grandchildren. A deeply human narrative of technological innovation rooted in creativity and diversity, simultaneously celebrating our differences and uniting us as equals in an increasingly interconnected digital world. Thank you.